they found that these 70 year olds, these 80 year olds, because of their large AMCC, they had the brain energy, the cognitive function of 20 and 30 year olds. There's a part of the brain called the anterior mid cingulate cortex, or known as the AMCC. This part of the brain, if it gets larger, our willpower increases, becomes stronger. We become more tenacious. And so they found that the bigger the AMCC, the more the people push through difficult tasks. As the AMCC, that part of the brain, increases and gets larger, people start to have stronger willpower. And so they looked into obese people and they found that their AMCC was smaller. But when the very same people started to diet and face challenges, their AMCC started to increase and grow, grow larger. They also looked into athletes and they found their AMCC was larger than the average person. And so the AMCC is connected with generating willpower. And today, they're even looking at it closer and saying that not only is this part of the brain connected with generating willpower, generating tenacity, but it may just be the very seat to generate the will to live longer. The AMCC starts to grow larger when we do difficult tasks. This is the important point that when we start doing and completing difficult tasks that we don't want to do, our AMCC gets larger and our willpower gets stronger. Islam builds our tenacity. Islam builds our willpower. Islam makes our AMCC grow larger. And today, I will give you a few examples. If you look at the Fajr prayer, naturally, no one wants to get up at dawn. Everyone wants to sleep. It's a difficult task to get up. But when you push through that difficult task that you don't want to do, your AMCC starts to grow larger and you come out being a stronger individual with greater willpower. If you look at the institution of Ramadan, all of it, naturally, no one wants to drive fast from dawn to sunset. If we were able to, and if it was permitted by health, we would eat 24 hours a day. But no one wants to fast. But when we push through and fast, our AMCC grows larger and it builds our willpower. After we fast a long day, now it's time to break your fast. After you take that morsel and you break your fast, you feel the blood rushing into your stomach and you just feel this fatigue that now you just want to take a nap, you want to lay down. Islam says no. Stand up for another hour and pray the taraweeh prayers. Something you naturally don't want to do. Islam continuously makes us do things that naturally we don't want to do. And in the process, our AMCC gets larger and we become stronger human beings by building our willpower. And if we look at zakat, who wants to give money away? Who wants to donate? But Islam obligates giving away charity. If we look at every single command, every single prohibition in Islam, there is a degree of difficulty embedded in it to make us stronger human beings. Even when we look at suffering and pain and how Islam looks at suffering and pain, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Inna Allah idha ahabba qawman ibtalahum That when Allah loves the people, He tests them. He gives them trials and tribulations. He gives them pain. He gives them suffering. This is coming from the love of Allah Subhanahu. Why? Because through these trials and tribulations, they become stronger individuals with stronger willpower. And when you have stronger willpower, you're able to do more good deeds 
And when you do more good deeds, then as Allah subhanahu wa said, وَلَا يَزَالُ عَبْدِ يَتَقَرَّبُ إِلَيَّ بِالنَّوَافِلِ حَتَّى أُحِبَّهِ That my slave continues to draw closer to me with good deeds until I love him more.